This we're 14 and 5 with elemental shaman. We've climbed a thousand ranks today. I don't think I will though. It's not Friday. I bring the fury of the um Seems like a pretty good hand, but I'll just keep unbound with the serpent so we coin out on bound and then we can hit him with the ooh. This is a really good hand. This is a really good hand. One, two, three. This is the nuts. They will never catch me. Oh my god. So I could play that next turn, then I go boom, boom into that. Holy shit. All right, chat. Ooh. The power. Meet the new decks, the same old decks, dude. I literally haven't played a single person playing any of the new stuff that got buffed. It's literally the people playing, they they changed their paladin to Librum Paladin instead of the um the buff paladin because of crab rider changes. That's the only change there. And then they wow, we got the worst three drop in the game. Um yeah, is there anything else that changed? We have Liberum Paladin instead of the other Paladin. Uh, Control Warlock is like... I've played so many Control Warlocks. I've seen zero Shamans. Aura. Glaive. Oh my god, he still has a clear? Dude, what are these perfect answers? He's main decking Throw Glaive. Bro, how? How? <laughs> His opening was a one drop into a two drop into the three drop into the aura into the throw glaive. How are they so good? We got storm crash though. She's good. I'm just hoping he doesn't skull me on six. That was a really nice opener we had. Studies into skull. Oh, studies into sight. All right, we're good. I mean, we should be good. I don't think he can kill this for four mana. Like, I don't know why they they didn't buff the Earth Revenant, right? They buffed the Warrior one. Why didn't they buff this one to three attack? You know what I mean? They buffed the other dude. The Warrior Frenzy card. They could have buffed this card. This card is terrible. Like, this card's trash. Eye beam. Merchant. Jesus. Yeah, I wanted the caravans to get buffs, but they didn't. So far, the only card in the deck that I think can get changed is Lurker, and we can change that to Alec here, but I'm not sure yet. Damn, top deck's I beam again. All right, can we can we chill out with the uh, the top deck healing cards? That'd be mucho fantastico. I really don't want to use six damage to kill a Moarg, but at the same time, I also don't want to instruct her Fireheart. He already used two I-beams, so, like, what is the downside? Oh, fuck. Hopefully it lands on the... Nah, fuck. I fucked up. I didn't mean to hero power. There is still hope for the mini set they haven't announced yet. It should be coming out soon, though, right? Uh, I feel like tanking my legend some more with self mill lock later, especially that I found I pulled Naru just the other day, dude. So the self mill lock is actually so much fun. Bell scream blast. Fuck, he's back to twenty three. I mean, I guess the thing is, he still runs Inquisitors. Never 
Guidance is kind of too good not to snag. So we get two cards. Plus we get the, um, another, you know what I mean? Did we play a spell last turn? I don't think so. I think we guidance again, right? That was a lot of value from Fireheart, dude. That was an insane amount of value we just got. So, we know he has Inquisitors. So this is three, that's four. We need three more. I mean, I guess I could do this into this, and then I can just win Fury. This. And this pushes lethal. Dude, but the this the the self mill warlock is super nice. Oh god, there's skull. But he needs to find answers here. And he already used so many. He already used so many answers. So Brocon is lethal. Fire Ellie is lethal. We have a lot of lethal situations here. He basically needs to find the lifesteal weapon. <sighs> Fuck, second skull. Damn. He could actually win off this. He hit every card in his deck. Well, there's the lifesteal weapon. There's probably Fury. Merchant. Aura. Oh my god. Alright, we got him. Dude, that game was incredibly hard. Jesus. We just kept having things to play, though, which was very nice. Shouldn't you play Mancrick? Uh, no, this deck has no draw. Mancrick works well in decks that actually can draw cards. Uh-oh. Here comes the Librum Paladins. We just took recent- we recently just took out Devolving Missiles, so. Not good. Not good. No hap. Uh, let's play cage match because it uh, limits the chance we have to draw the other weapon. Ooh. The the storm. Ooh, good card. I foresaw this in the prophecy. Oh my god. He got gibberling into buffs. That's annoying. The light protects me. So it's this. Trade here, trade here, do this, play this, trade, 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 trade. I guess it's just too hard in the See where this lands. Really? What if I just leave that card alive? What if I leave that card alive and just play a Mana Tide Totem? Or do I have to basically double trade into it? Sucks for me. It will get buffed, yeah. Or he's gonna play, oh, top deck's a sword. Egg. Whatever. 
whatever, whatever. Um, I'm expecting an Omai oh Yog here. Also, Noble Sack is highly pro possible. I, I really want to save these guys. Like, I know he's just going to buff this egg, right? Like, what happens if I just go reflect... What I go, like, reflection into, um... Uh, unbound. I know it's going to be an Oh My Yogg. Just give me a three-mana card that doesn't kill my own minion. Literally anything that just doesn't kill my own minion or buff his card. Yeah, that's good. Yo, Eva! Grats on the pack. Reporting for duty. Yeah. Now he's forced to trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Everything is okie dokie. You just do this. <laughs> Imagine playing a tier one deck and losing to fucking shaman. <laughs> Imagine losing to mana tide totem. Oh, never mind. He hasn't lost yet. He just top decked the best card in the deck and then hit a rush card. All right, we win. Oh god, playing Paladin after the nerf. And you killed the four, two stealth, and between those two minions were five, and then you would have just died to Dunk Tank. Or Fireheart. That that explosive did definitely keep it definitely kept you alive. Still lost though? Eh. Pretty sure your deck wins like seven out of ten times, maybe eight. I got a lucky. I got lucky with the Earth Revenant on turn two. I did keep it in the hand specifically for that, though. I was like, he's probably going to play the, the the Woofer. And I'm like, all right, I need this four mana card with coin so I can take care of the Woofer. And then we happen to get the one mana one two dude. I'm waiting 12 years now to be asked out. Still waiting. <laughs> Don't worry, I've never been asked out either. We were waiting at a restaurant for Cadence to finish therapy, and this guy came up and asked me out. I was in the so I was super shocked. I guess he thought I was a single mom. It's definitely gotta feel good to be like, yo, I still got it. I still like this girl for about five years now. She's changed two guys by now. And I'm still not an option. I mean... Just because you like a girl doesn't mean that, uh... Like, have you told her you like her? Have you engaged in the, hey, Lamau? Because you can't be, like, a friend and then just expect the girl to like you. Uh, we go to eight. What up, Dr. Matt? Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Winning with Shaman. We are now 13 and 5 with this shitty Shaman deck. The buff to the Lily Lurker is definitely noticeable. Because right now, it would straight up die to this 5-5, five five and his 5-5 five five would live. And now the 5-5 five five is going to die. Don't trade. Don't trade. Don't trade. Don't trade. Don't trade. Don't trade. Fuck. Why would you trade? It's so bad. Literally so booed, mon. 
Why would you do that? She has somebody already. I don't understand what she sees in him besides his job. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a big thing when you're older. Depends. It really just depends on the person. Some people are in it to win it for the job. Some people like other people for other reasons. It really just depends. For honor and glory. I wanted to see where that buff land did. I definitely trade here. Now we get the draw, baby. Draw is online. God, why are their hands and decks so much better than mine? Here for a good time. Why are their cards so much better than mine? Glad I played that elemental last turn so I get the lily pad this 810. Alright, um. Three threes go face. Three threes go face. Three threes go face. Fuck. Alright. Oh, I can't lily pad and dunk tank. That's actually kind of sad. Alex's own face. <laughs> what an XD, bruh. Alex own face lose game. Story. Ooh. Seems good. Especially if you top deck. Oh my god, he top deck another rush card. He's probably gonna kill my 5 4. Ooh, he killed my 5 6. As a pro. Oh my god, he full cleared me. He's a fucking gamer. Well, at least we know he has Alex in his hand. He divulged that information for free. Never be afraid of your inner power. Free of charge, he gave us that information. Kind of suck. Yeah, that was just really a low roll there. That was a very, very, very low roll. Alright, so now he Alex's his face. Unless he top decks Troublemaker. Alright, this and Alex. I'm working on it! Kinda hard out here. <laughs> this guy's doing a lot of shit with cards. This guy's doing a lot of fucking stuff with cards, chat. I'm working on it! This guy's doing so much stuff with cards, chat. I can't stop him. As long as he doesn't top deck a rush. Alright, good, good. Alright, good, good. We're still in it to win it. And the good news is we get another taunt totem. Ooh, nice. Hit another taunt.
Oh, we're getting him. We're hitting him with the nine. We're hitting him with the nine. We're hitting him with the nine. Come on, bitch. We haven't even drawn our storm or our fire Ellie's. Let's go. <laughs> this deck is so bad, it's good.